my Gemini, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your love reading for April. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice, all right? So this way you get notifications. And a big warm welcome to my regular subscribers. You guys know the drill. How the love readings go, Gemini, is that we're gonna start off with some Oracle cards and then we're gonna get into the Tarot spread. Um, it's a how you feel about the person, okay? And how they feel about you and then the combined energy. And we're gonna start off with some Oracle cards and then get into the Tarot spread. All right, and if you want to book a private session with me, my availability is in my calendar. You just go to my website. All of that is in the description box below, okay? They are healing sessions. Yes, I'm a psychic medium, but I'm also a life coach. And these cards, I don't just do regular readings, guys. They're one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. It's an hour session. Um, yes, we will use cards, um, but not for the whole thing. Um, but like I said, this is for you to take stock of your life. I do feel that everybody has these gifts and we you know we utilize them in different ways, but the messages that you get are going to be way more than just messages, right? You're going to take them with them and you're going to feel that you have the empower to utilize these tools yourself, um, to find your own answers. Cause it's your intuition here. Whenever I say somebody, so, someone says to me spot on in the comments or spot on in life. I always say to them, no, actually you're spot on because our vibrations had matched. So you were attracted and aligned to the information and open to it enough to hear it. That's you. That's you. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Gemini calling in our guides, our ancestors and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Gemini in love. How does Gemini feel about their person? How does Gemini feel about their person? Here we go. And how does their person feel about Gemini? How does their person feel about Gemini? Okay. And what is the combined energy? I'll read the cards to you guys in a second. I'd like to pull out the spread first for Oracle before I get into the message. Gemini. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I feel for many of you, you have closed your door on love. Um, Gemini, this feels very heavy. It feels almost the level of not wanting to take risk because of how hurt you have been feeling. Okay. On your side, we have door. Opportunities are waiting for you, but it's closed. It's a closed door. Next to claw, be careful. Do not take risk. Now, here's the thing. I feel for many of you, you've learned lessons, but this claw is could almost be hindering you it could imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities what is happening is for a lot of you gemini you're in your head you're in your head about situations you're in your head about the lessons you've been learned i keep hearing never again never again never again will i allow myself to be hurt again so what happens you close up protection now on your person side they have fly a period of health depression next to bouquet compliment from an admirer you have an admirer here you have someone here who really wants to come forward but there's something about you right now that this person does not feel like they that you'll be open to it okay this could be gemini a missed opportunity in love okay you have been stung so many times but also 
I feel that this person, I'm not saying that you like look depressed or in there. I think it's kind of like, because a fly, they, like flies seem dirty, right? Like they, they eat shit. <laughs> Let's be real here, okay? They, they know that um, you see relationships as flies, a nuisance, right? It just turns to shit. And this person, even though they're not like that at all, what's happened to you in the past, um, they're getting the shit end of the stick because your door is closed. Okay. I feel even that this person that is on your mind that you're, you know, asking about, you're well aware that they may have feelings for you or want to date you. Maybe you've declined and said no to them a couple times. All right. It doesn't feel like an ex, but it does feel like a relationship that never got started. So false starts I'm hearing. Spirit, what else do we have for Gemini? How is Gemini feeling about their person? How is Gemini feeling about their person? Here we go. Page of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Wands reversed. On your person side, we have Justice reversed, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. The combined energy is the Five of Cups reversed, the Eight of Swords reversed, and Temperance. I'm gonna start with the combined energy first, and I typically do this last, but it, they're really calling me on this. I did this for another sign. I wanna say it was Libra. I wanna read this again to you because it, it, it's so important to me that, that you guys understand this but are really listening to this. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. This is getting out of your head. The Five of Cups, which is water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's looking at all the losses not realizing you're holding this beautiful branch with all of those blossoms on there, but it's like, oh no, oh no, look. Oh, I don't wanna get emotional about it. And I feel that you have been emotional about it because there's a lot of water here. She's in it, okay? You could be crying puddles over people, but it doesn't feel like victim crying. This feels like resentment, anger, angry cry. I just had enough, right? But this is reversed, so it is temporary. Your person has seen the loss that you've been through. They just haven't been able to have the opportunity to be there for you in a way that they would like to be because you're not allowing it. But this is reversed. So to me, it's stating that you're turning around and looking at this, okay? What is this, what is this partnership here? Eight of Swords. What I said, get out of your head. Now the Eight of Swords, air energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, your own. You're not in a cage anymore. You're freeing. This is gonna be freeing for you. This, this is spirit reminding you, because it's reversed, that you're gonna set yourself free from this, meaning all the losses, not the opportunity, okay? This is allowing yourself to fly. Where are you flying to? Well, that's easy, temperance, Sagittarius energy here, balance. You both balance each other really, really well because this is combined energy of you both, okay? Um, but there is a very high potential someone could be flying away, meaning that this could be a missed opportunity. I feel, Gemini, you're gonna be 
looking at this going, I don't want to miss this opportunity. You're definitely looking at it now. Now on your side, and I feel that your, 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 your person, because this is combined energy of you, you both, your person feels that way too, okay? They feel the loss, like, oh my gosh, will he or she, meaning my, my Gemini, ever get over their losses? Will they ever be open to this relationship? Um, are they gonna fly away? And maybe I'm not an option, because they do feel like you're gonna fly away. But on your side, we have the Page of Pentacles. You know there's a new opportunity here. You know that there's potential for growth with this person, okay? This person makes you very happy, but it's something very different than that. what you're not used to. You can see how she's blossomed, there's a dragonfly on her, and she's like, wait a minute, that's not a butterfly. What was a dragonfly about, right? There's something different and unique about this individual. They treat you differently. They treat you right. But with this Three of Swords energy, do I take the chance to open my heart? Because they can just take that blossom right away from me. And I think that it's like something new for you because I feel like you've caught the feels for this individual. And you're starting to see Gemini here with the Five of Wands. Now the Five of Wands, more fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's usually about competition, competition making the right moves, right? This is reversed. You're like, if I don't allow myself to play the game, what am I missing? So I feel like you're in thought about what am I missing here, okay? Because for so long you have not put yourself out there to play the game, meaning play the field, okay? You're afraid to take a risk. Person side. Libra energy here. But with justice card, this person, I don't know if you guys live in the city, but it feels very like city-like. Um, doesn't feel like the suburbs to me. Maybe you guys work in the city, I don't know, okay? Um, but with justice reversed, um, how your person feels. Um, they're sad about it. They feel like it is an injustice. They feel like, man, um, I know I know my Gemini's been through a lot, but can't they see that I would never do that to them? In fact, I take a lot of pride and honor in with the higher font that's about a contract of some sort. Um, but this is also the energy with this Taurus energy of being grounded and learning something so I don't know if this person is gonna sound really and I know this is only gonna be for a small amount of you I don't know if there's something that they they might see you as someone who's extremely wise or like a mentor kind of thing Gemini like they see you as somebody who's very wise okay they can learn a lot from all right um, they think it's an injustice that you can't see the connection here all right, it's like, oh man, why can't they see that we can, like Gemini, we can have it all, okay? Some of you, with the higher font and the justice card here, there's something in regards to legal as well. So um, you might have had a really bad divorce or legal issues that are keeping you from getting a flat on divorce. Maybe you're going through that and you're like, I'm not starting anything without that, all right? This person might see that as an injustice for you, but they're, they got the feels for you. I mean, the 10 of cups, come on. You're both fish here. You got baby fishes. <laughs> like this is a lot of emotion. This is being in it together. This person sees the world with you. They want to have an opportunity with you. Okay. They, they, you're like the sun to them. There's a lot of feelings here. It could be a water sign too, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what the after tarot cards have to say though. I do not do reversals on them. Let's uh, validate the Page of Pentacles on your side with the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. Let's validate this here, Spirit. Here we go. Oh yeah, we got the lovers. 
the Ace of Pentacles. Are you kidding me in the world? You're going to open up. Yes, you are. And it, it's obvious in the combined energy of it. But here's the thing. You got a big choice to make. Your own energy here. All right. This is a choice in love. Are you going to choose to keep your heart closed or open? It's your choice to do so. Here's your opportunity. Some of you may, I don't know, I keep seeing city or something to do with work. So some of you might have met this person at work or um, in the city, but it feels like there's something where there's opportunity for something that's really stable that's being presented to you. This person's offering it to you, okay? Um, this is also something where it's like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm going to allow this in. But it's like you're looking at that. Mm, should I take that up? Billy? I think this person has offered this to you before, to be honest. Or it might have been like kind of light and casual, but this person is the real thing. I mean, I, this looks like marriage potential, guys. This doesn't look like something where it's like just dating, okay? Because with the world card here, um, you know, you could be at a distance from this individual, um, you know, not live close here, but it's, there's going to be a lot of communication. It's going to feel like it's online, but it feels like there's something that's moving. Okay. Moving, opening, opening your heart. You could just be jumping in now because your heart is open. How you feel, you're going to be open to it. Okay. You're going to go ahead. I mean, here are all of the magician tools too, guys here, right? All the magician tools here. And a gold wand, swords, cups. Well, this one's like, they're jumping in. So this, I do feel like you're opening up. You're going to allow this to come in. Let's see what's on your first side here with Justice Reverse, the Higher Font, and the Ten of Cups. Here we go. Queen of Cups, the Fool. You got the Ten of Cups on top of the Ten of Cups. I'm not even freaking joking. I'm not even freaking joking. They have a lot of love for you. They, I, they could be a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? But there's a lot of love and emotion here for you. Um, they see, they're, they could be very intuitive, but they see you as a wise soul, very intuitive. You could be, um, you know, do a kind of line of work that I do. But this, this, this is somebody, the queen is a master of her emotions because she's been through it all. Could hide it a little bit, but it's very loving and supportive. Okay, and for the loving and supportive queen to go through, and I'm just saying queen, guys, it's it's because of what's on the card, but we all have masculine and feminine energy. I do not specify genders on here, so you take it as you see fit for you. Your person feels that how could somebody so loving and supportive be treated so unfairly? This is how they see it. They don't, they, they support you in a level of like, I can't believe how much Gemini has been through they know that you are on on the fence about opening up to this okay but they're gonna still come they're still gonna come they're still gonna ask you because they're, they're they're hoping one day you're gonna just open up to it okay but this is how they see you they're like I think she's she or he's gonna be able to take the leap right the Gemini here I think they're gonna take the leap Ugh. hot and cold hot and cold i just keep hearing hot and cold it's like i feel like every time you go to take the leap you kind of like go in the cold but here's here's the thing i mean how much more love can i get here they they want to feel you guys might have because they're showing family here Ken. you might have a mixed family meaning that you have some children they have some children this is combining them together okay this is how this person sees and values you what they want to do with you interesting how we have a day card to day and night I mean this is like no matter what as long as you're in their circle day and night they're happy they're happy they see you in very high regards five of cups the eight of swords reverse and temperance spirit what do we have here validate these cards here we go judgment temperance again are you kidding me in the six of cups come on guys Virgo open that heart up because here's a revelation, the resurrection of you. You're opening your heart. You're gonna open up your heart. You're gonna let this person in. And let me tell you, um, I feel for a lot of you, like I said, you have might, might have rejected this offer before. 
it's like I feel like it's gonna be you taking that and if, if it's the other way around where they rejected the offer there's gonna be something where it's gonna be turning this around because this is balanced now you guys are balanced all right balanced I'm hearing ready going with the flow Sagittarius could be dealing with six of cups soul mate energy seeing children again so I do feel like this is a union of bringing children together combined energy of you so um, this feels like marriage potential guys this feels like I know this is gonna seem off the wall but it almost feels like you guys have been playing the field with each other for some time but it's like I don't even want to date like I just feel committed to you okay I mean it could feel like a fast relationship but it hasn't been fast it's just that you you've been taking the time to heal your heart I don't think you've um, like I said there's been lots of false starts with this relationship it doesn't feel like anything was official with this relationship it just feels like someone is finally healed enough to say I'm gonna open my heart my heart is open now to let this person in I might have to call that this reading my heart is open now to let this person in because I think the people who relate to that will see that and go that's me or not mm. all right Gemini if this resonated for you go ahead and hit like comment below don't forget to subscribe and hey if you guys are on Facebook and want to join my closed group called harmonia friends you're welcome to go over there I pop on there a lot it's more of a empowering self-development group um, you know for if you're new in the journey or if you're just looking for a soul tribe but also I encourage other light workers to come join this community because we love helping other people but it's about helping each other too okay because the more light workers we have to help the world man it'll be a bright place all right guys you guys take care bye bye